Petit Pot Hi Mr. Jordan, um, I hope you remember me. It's Jayla. Yeah. Um, well, you were a really awesome teacher because you you gave you gave us projects, so it wasn't always written and written stuff I had a little bit of trouble with, but you always gave us projects and made me do actually really better in your class. Um, I knew I kind of talked in your class, but sorry about that. Just I was sitting by really fun people, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you're really awesome because you're actually really tall. So thanks. Hi, Miss Creatio, it's Ethan. We haven't seen each other in a long time, but I'm glad I invited you to the grad school lunch. I have chosen you for the I have chosen you for the teacher to come to the grad school lunch for me for many reasons. But mo first of all, it um, you really helped me when I moved schools from my school middle, my first school middle choice to Shoreland. It was a big change. There was new people. There were new classes, new teachers and the environment was just all different altogether. But you really helped me with that, and I really appreciate it. And I can never thank you enough for that. But the biggest reason is you really accept, help me, accept me for who I am. I could never really accept myself for being a male dancer, like wanting to be a male dancer professionally for a long time. Like I knew that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I love to do, but no, one really like helped me accept that fully. All my teachers have always thought that was really cool, but you're the only person I really connected with it because you tapped, and I just thought that was really cool, and it was, it was just, um, it was just really amazing, and I can't think about being a different person. I can't think about being the same person without you helping me through that, because without your help, I don't think I'd be where I am today, going to Cincinnati, the Cincinnati Ballet, and dance intensive in the summer, and going to a two-week dance intensive after that. So it's seven weeks of dance intensive that I might have missed because I didn't think I was good enough, or I was afraid of not being accepted. So thank you. Hey Mr. Bushroff, it's me, Chris. I like having you as a teacher because you're funny. Um, you made science a lot more easier for me. You're one of my favorite teachers, and I like that you have a lot of partner work. Hey Mr. Schiffler, it's Nick. Um, I picked you to come today because you're one of my favorite teachers. You taught me that you can have fun while learning, and that if you work hard, you can turn a dream into reality. Hi Mr. Wexler, I invited you here today because you are one of my favorite teachers, and you are really funny and you helped me with basketball. Hi, Mr. McGinnis. I chose you for the grad to lunch today because I haven't seen you in forever. And no offense to Miss Bentoff, but I like you better than her when you were my principal. And also, I enjoyed the time we spent together and getting to know you at times. I found out that most principals are actually quite fun to be hanging out with from you. That's why I wanted to invite you to the Gratitude Lunch. Hi, Mr. Rocha, I to be here today because you are very nice and you helped me through a lot of things those two years I've been at Greenwood. And you was the first teacher that I felt comfortable talking to about things. And you helped me be confident about myself. Hi, Mr. Schiffler. I chose you to come today because to me, you are very helpful, and you taught and showed me how to be a hard worker and a good coach, and I also think you're a very good teacher. Mr. Wexler, I chose you to come today because you made me feel um, like I fit in when I was a new kid in school, and you taught me more than what all my other teachers have taught me. You made me get straight A's for the first time ever. Uh, um, you made me and the class laugh even though you were still a pretty strict teacher and 
were really good to me and my class. Hi, I picked Mrs. Sharp and Mrs. Riker for the gratitude luncheon because they have a really big uh, part of my schooling and getting better and everything. They are one of the biggest like changes and one of the biggest most important things about school and they changed my whole life. They made school better for me and they just made it better. The only person that's ever come close to even having a big impact was Miss Bud. And we all miss her dearly, but you guys have made a bigger impact than she's ever did. You guys bring hope and you make me see that I'm smarter than I am. When I came here in the seventh grade, I had nothing to go for. I had people calling me dumb and telling me that I can't read, but I have got so much better in that and it just means a lot for me. For you you guys to keep on supporting me through everything and I know I've given up a lot and you guys never gave it up for me. Thank you. Hi Mr. Winter, I'm invited you here today because you're my favorite teacher and you help me better understand math and science and you have a great personality and you're very funny. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Colon. Um, I invited you. To, I invited you today because you have the most impact on me because you're always so positive and friendly to everybody, even when they made you angry. And you had a lot of school spirit. You're always happy to help out and plan things, and you had a great sense of humor. Mrs. Chaka, I invited you here today because it's the gratitude luncheon, and you're my favorite teacher. Your class is fun. You gave me good luck on the park test with the turtle you gave me. And you gave us candy every Friday, so I invited you to the gratitude luncheon to give back. Hello, Miss Tully, you remember me? This is my team Austin T-Shoot, and I would like to thank you for giving me confidence in all of my science classes and at least making me feel a part of the class. And by the way, Kentucky, ugh, they aren't that good, so go Michigan, thank you for asking, and keep up the parties. <laughs>